Okay, so I got interrupted off again. So I opened this chef. And we'll see what kind of gloves this is. No, it is bad. Also, you get health gloves. So there's a chance after killing monsters that you get health glove. It restores the percentage of your health for an age years hut. What a second best. We're going through this cellar. So, so this captain is, this is an, an elite, no there are three kinds of elite, champions, rares, and unique, unique is like, they have their own name, and they have their own pro specific properties, yeah I'm pretty sure this guy's unique because you always have to see him. So then they got rifting cloth and it gives health regeneration and that's always good in early levels. So, so um, champions and elites and rares they have they have their own pro special properties. You know that makes them different. Also, there are many also also rares have minions you know, who also can share some properties. So I want to do this like as good as possible. You see, I have like 45 Paragon levels, which is kind of like after you make reach max level, it shared account through your account. It just gives you better stats. <laughs> it's like better stats than we go to make it look like you're going to like make the progress, which you are. But the stat boosts are not look great. So, yeah, you all these guys, that's all. You see, also that's a door. We can either break open doors or just break to open them. Okay, you go in here, you cut up the mobs. Also, their chest right there when you get it. Oh, this is better, so you don't need that. The one cathedral. From here on, that we basically can't go back. Well, I'm too lazy to find a way to get out. I mean, there's no town portal. But well, you don't get a town portal, which is like after like five seconds, you go back. Also, there's environmental damage. You can just crush these guys over here. We get new scale fire bats. The grass of the dead was like a skill that like makes hands go on the ground and deal damage over time and slow them. So this is a treasure goblin. If you kill them, they give like great rewards and they leave a trail of money. Hopefully, they distract you. So that's the treasure goblin, and they have their own lore. So we have to rescue Decker Kane, which is the guy talking here. We have to fight him around this cathedral. He should be in here somewhere. But we just have to look. So the whole lore is that they're like the, they're these like demon lords, three greater evils which are like the greatest of all, and they do a bunch of crazy, crazy stuff and try to take over the world, which is Mephisto, Diablo, the main villain, and Bale. Bale is the Lord of Destruction. Diablo is the Lord of Terror. Mephisto is the Lord of Hatred. And also there are four lesser evils. You know, which do other evil things, but then the four of them manage to overthrow three of them into this world sanctuary, which is where humans live. Humans are actually a mix of angels and demons. And there's just a lot of lore behind it that you'll never get to visit. They just shoot down these bats. There's a lot to introduce in the first few parts. Yeah, 
See, this guy turned into a zombie, and there's nothing to do, but I don't even know why these people ever come here. I mean, it's like a haunted cathedral. So, some spells from the witch doctor can, like, cost a lot of mana, but I probably spell poison dart, it doesn't cost mana. It's like a signature spell. It turned into a signature spell not too long ago. And even before that, it didn't cost a lot of mana. See, that was knockback. That's part of their elite thing. So what they do is, uh, is we're champions. Have uh, like three of them, of oh, almost equal strength, and they're blue. But rares, they're yellow. They glow yellow. Also, some of them can like go friendly fire. So they've got leather pants up full focus, and let's use the javelin. So this like nearly doubles your damage, L foot. So that's good. Like that, that basically doubles the damage output a lot. You see, here are the three, here are four attributes: strength, dexterity, intelligence, vitality. Strength is increases your armor, and for warriors like crusaders and barbarians, also crusader. So dexterity increases the do your dodge chance and increases the damage for demons and monks. So you got the scars like turn which gets a lot. Intelligence is for witch doctrine and wizard, increases your resistances too, like to magic. Vitality increases your health, damage increases your damage per second, damage your damage per second. There's also toughness, which is how much raw damage you take without armor or resistances. That's how much health you can add, 266 health, but 400 health toughness, so I can really take 400. And healing. That's how much health you recover every second during combat. And they're very big details. So, damage increased by your primary stat, skills, elites, then both damage elites, attack speed, your critical hit, new armor, block, resistances, you know, crowd, <laughs> crowd control reduction, you know, damage taken from other things. See, this also gives now. Somehow we can use short bow. Somehow. You know, that's that's mostly a demon hunter thing. Uh, you know, health, li life bonus, life steal, life for hit, life for kill, mana, will find, magic find, bonus experience, bonus experience for kill. So then this is like a paragon. So, there's a core, offense, defense. And you tell you only get them after reach maximum level. Also, another treasure goblin. Like sometimes I just use my ultimate spells just to take down treasure goblins because I'm greedy and and the rewards just get like multiply so much. And we just went around in circles. That's not good. I could be done if I just went this way. Uh. So. <laughs> in the story, we had to like take on Diablo and his minions, and like this star or meteor, or something like that fell in this cathedral. So that is the Skeleton King we fought, you know, like people fought in Diablo, the first Diablo, he's like the Mad King of Tristro, also that was like. So this is like a built in boss, elite you have to fight, it's, the bosses are different, if they die then you know they just go back to full health and you have to redo it all over again. And then he, you know, he just knows that there's a secret passage over here. 